Is it time to buy or sell Microsoft stock? We're delving deeper into Microsoft in this video. Our initial report was released on Tuesday, April 2, 2024, and now we're providing you with a more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, like, and enable notifications to stay informed about our latest analysis. Stay on top of crucial updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Utilize AI capabilities to receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies globally. Please be aware that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be construed as financial advice. Since March 12, 2024, our system has rated Microsoft as a hold slash accumulate, with a score of 0.88. Let's now examine the stock's performance during this time frame. The stock has shown natural fluctuations, resulting in a gain of 1.48%. This equates to an average daily return of 0.1% since the hold slash accumulate rating was assigned. The stock is currently in a strong upward trend in the short term, indicating a potential further increase. Over the next three months, there is a projected 10.73% change with a possible return ranging from 7.32% to 14.09% based on the current trend. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a forecasted 39.25% change over the next year, with an expected return between 23.55% and 43%. This equates to a price range of $520.67 to $602.67 after 12 months. Microsoft stock has been downgraded from a buy candidate to hold slash accumulate following the latest trading session. The stock price dropped by minus 0.737% on Tuesday, April 2, 2024, falling from $424.57 to $421.44. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated by 1.09%, ranging from a low of $417.84 to a high of $422.38. Although the price has declined in 6 out of the last 10 days, it is still up by 0.99% over the past 2 weeks. Trading volume increased by 3 million shares on the last day, despite the falling prices, possibly indicating an upcoming risk increase in the next few days. A total of 18 million shares were traded, amounting to approximately $7.47 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the stock reached a high of $430.82 and a low of $275.37. Currently, the price stands at 2.18% below the 52-week high, at $9.38 lower than the peak of $430.82, which also marks the stock's all-time high. Analyst Ratings On Tuesday, April 2, 2024, Macquarie upgraded Microsoft to outperform with a hold action. On Monday, April 1, 2024, Morgan Stanley upgraded Microsoft to overweight with a hold action. On Sunday, March 31, 2024, Jefferies rated Microsoft as a buy with a hold action. On Tuesday, March 26, 2024, Wedbush upgraded Microsoft to outperform with a hold action. On Wednesday, February 7, 2024, Oppenheimer upgraded Microsoft to overweight with an upgrade action. Analysts have given Microsoft stock a general strong buy rating. They also rate the P-E ratio and price to book as strong buy. Additionally, for return on investment, the analysts give the stock and strong buy rating. The signals identified for Microsoft are as follows. The Microsoft stock currently shows a sell signal from the short-term moving average, but there is a buy signal from the long-term average. With the short-term average above the long-term average, a general buy signal is in place, indicating a positive forecast for the stock. Potential resistance lies at approximately $423.06, while support can be found at around $413.91. Breaking through the short-term average will trigger a buy signal, while a breakdown through the long-term average will indicate a sell signal. Additionally, a buy signal is present from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Some negative signals have also been noted, impacting short-term development. 
A cell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, March 21, 2024, resulting in a minus 1.85% decline. Further decline is suggested until a new bottom pivot is established. Yesterday, volume increased on falling prices, serving as an early warning for closer monitoring of the stock. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 8 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 7 days ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 3 days ago. Long-term moving average, by signal 16 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, by signal 14 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 16 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 107 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, by signal 104 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Microsoft. Microsoft currently has support at $416.42 backed by accumulated volume. This support level could present a buying opportunity as it may trigger an upward reaction when tested. The stock is known for consistent trading volume and typically experiences minor daily price fluctuations, indicating lower risk. In the past day, Microsoft moved $4.54, 1.09%, between its high and low points. Over the last week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 1.09%. Let's begin by exploring the potential trading levels for Microsoft, but first, let's go over some essential fundamental data. Starting with the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This critical metric compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. This P-E ratio falls within the range typically observed in companies with established track records or stable revenues. Moving on, the upcoming earnings report for Q1 2024 is scheduled for April 23, 2024. Analysts' average estimates stand at $2.84. It's important to monitor these figures closely as they can significantly influence stock prices. Now, let's explore potential day trading levels for Microsoft. In an upward trend, the first resistance level for Microsoft is at $422.86. If you're not already invested, consider waiting for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For current shareholders, this could be a point to consider for swing trading. Conversely, Microsoft faces its initial support level at $416.42. Should this support hold, it might present a favorable entry opportunity, with the expectation of a bounce back. Microsoft has received a strong buy rating from multiple analyst sources. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On March 14, 2024, Rodriguez Carlos A purchased 514 shares of restricted stock units. On March 14, 2024, Pritzker Penny S acquired 21,261 shares of restricted stock units. On March 14, 2024, Peterson Sandra E bought 41,396 shares of restricted stock units. On March 14, 2024, McGregor Catherine made a purchase of 399 shares of restricted stock units. On March 14, 2024, List Terry bought 39,927 shares of restricted stock units. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power ratio stands at minus 36.516. In total, insiders acquired 104,753 shares and sold 197,709 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $407.28, representing a decrease of 3.36%. This particular stock exhibits minimal daily fluctuations, resulting in lower risk. A sell signal was identified from a pivot top that occurred 7 days ago. Is Microsoft stock a good buy? Microsoft shows positive signals, but falls short of being a strong buy candidate. 
Currently, it's advised to hold or accumulate this position and wait for further developments. Minor technical weaknesses have led us to shift our analysis from a buy to a hold slash accumulate recommendation since the last evaluation. Our systems indicate that the current price is inflated after assessing the volatility and movements of the last trading day. On Wednesday, April 3rd, Microsoft is projected to open lower by minus 89 cents at $420.55. It is important to remember that trading carries a high risk of financial loss. Before making any investment decisions, it is advisable to consult a financial advisor. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you are acknowledging and assuming responsibility for your own investment actions. Presenting our current analysis of the stock. Share your thoughts, do you agree or disagree? Let us know your target price for this stock in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Wishing you successful trading and a wonderful day from the team at Stock Invest.